So today we are going to be going through the various Chrome extensions that you can use while working on your transcription on Scribe or on any other website. Okay. So the first one, as we dive in, the first one is Auto Refresh Plus, uh, the page monitor. This one you can use it to refresh when there are no files. Okay. And the other thing is that you have to understand which how many minutes that you need to bypass the buster capture. There are two ways, there's three ways to bypass the buster capture. The first one, you have to understand the system, the, the minutes it needs. Okay. Because if you put it's not minutes, seconds. If you put let's say 10 seconds refresh period, the I'm not a human thing will pop up. Okay. If you put 20 min 20 seconds, the I'm not a human thing will still pop up. So you need to put 45 seconds and above. That will save you time. The other thing, apart from the setting the time, the refresh period you need, the buster capture, you need the capture solver, and you need recapture Chrome extensions. Okay. All of those ones work hand in hand. Whenever one fails, the other one takes over. So this is the first one. You can download it on Chrome Web Store. Then there's the second one, the media save. You can use this one for downloading audios. For downloading the the transcription audios, you need like two softwares. Okay, the first one is IDM, Internet Download Manager, and then the second one is the media save. Okay, one one of them always fails. That one I can guarantee you. Let's say the IDM, it might, it might say, hey, I need some updating, blah, blah, blah. And then media save will take over. Or in the media save will just, sometimes it is, it's not in a good mood, so it just doesn't pop up. So IDM will always pop up. If you don't have that one, you can use Audio Prime. Audio Prime will never fail, even one day. That's Audio Prime is a Chrome extension too. So the third one, the third one. This one, IDM. This is a Chrome extension for IDM software. So whenever you install IDM software, you have to download this one and do something we call integration, okay? So that if I go to YouTube right now, like this picture down here, and click on a video, this one should always pop up, this small icon. Same case with transcription. If I choose a file and click on Open Editor, this download this file or this audio it should always pop up at the bottom somewhere here okay by default is at the bottom but you can set it drag it somewhere up here or here or here anywhere you want okay we'll move on to the next ones this one just concentrate on what i'm pointing don't look at all this one some of them won't help you a recapture solver this one this one whenever you click that thing that tells you i'm not click if you are not human or if you are human or whatever some of them they don't like okay they don't what what's the word that i can use let's check another one let's say the message that you're trying to give it okay like hey i am a human i'm clicking this one let's say click crossroads click what click what and then you say verify but it will always redo again like reappear and tell you no click again so the re recapture that one toggles those kind of things and then there's the the buster capture solver this one too it's for the recaptures and whatever's and then there's the i'm not a robot capture clicker this one is for the recaptures so one of them might fail then the other one will take over or, or, or all of them will take over there's that one that pops up and tells you to write the word that the sound that you hear from that word that one too one of them will solve that thing most likely is this one no, not this one. Where is that thing? This one. 
that one solves the audio and the the puzzles this one you need it if you are mostly for for youtube you like it if you're working mostly no transcription if you're doing other things that you're writing let's say coding and you like listening to music on the background so you just put this one on it will block those notorious ads this one too does the same work but this one is for websites mostly as say you are downloading movies and some sites you click on the movie link and it takes you to another thing this one this is their whatever okay this one audio downloader prime this one is for downloading any type of audio but you have to pin it here and whenever you click let's say it's it's on scribe you have clicked an audio you have to click the audio prime icon and check the audio number and download it chrome remote desktop this one is for connecting to clients desktops or if you are not at home and you are somewhere far away but your desk desktop is on you can connect on it and do your shit from there cookie auto delete this one just the word cookie auto delete should explain to you what it does cyber ghost cookie cleaner this one i use it when i'm trading binary mostly dark reader just the like this the name suggests it's a dark reader dark thing for websites or you can set it from your pc um uh, this one i've said this one keywords this one is for article writing or you need keywords for optimization of an article it's not only article even any other thing for writing a grammar this one is like grammarly but on steroids vpn these ones are vpns to hide your let's say you want to sign up on something like grave grave caption you'll use these ones okay but you need this one and uh, the real vpn software or you can use the brave browser because it doesn't save your cookies and that's it for today i'll see what the next video that i'll be doing and think about the topic i hope i've answered some of those questions some of you are asking me in my inbox have a good day